Today, guys, we show off 15 rare mob variants in Minecraft. These rare versions of existing mobs have a chance at appearing in-game whenever their normal counterparts show up in your world. Some of them are fun, some of them are friendly, some of them are fearsome. Let's check them out. Our first mob takes us deep into the mine shafts. Actually, you know, we're on the surface, but it's rare nonetheless. It's the zombie miner. This is a mob that could totally be in game, and now it is. When a zombie spawns inside of a mine shaft, it's got a chance at becoming a zombie miner. In regular mine shafts, it's got a one in five chance. In Mesa mine shafts, it's got a one in three chance. Look at this nasty little guy. They come with their own helmet and pickaxe of choice. We're gonna kill you. You died. Sucks. Worst. Okay, so as you can see right here, they also come with different variants of pickaxe and helmet from time to time, which means there's a chance you can get your hands on a little bit of extra gear if you happen to cross one of these mobs. Now, they don't always drop the helmet and pickaxe in question, but if you do happen to get one, consider yourself lucky. You can smelt it down, get some extra ingots, or just have some extra headgear. Hi, right, easy does it, guys. They've got a pretty cool appearance too, looking just a little bit darker than your regular zombies because of all the dust they've been gathering inside of the shaft. Our next rare mob is a variant of the spider. I easy dust. I'm trying to make it fun cinematic. <laughs> it's a rare mob variant of the spider, and it's known as the spitter. Now, the spitter is a type of spider that can rarely spawn in at night and will actually shoot webs wherever you are. <laughs> Occasionally catching itself, it seems as though. But you've got a chance of getting caught inside of this spitter's web, too. So be very careful when traveling around this creature. Now, when you kill a spitter, <laughs> it's got a chance at dropping something very unique. But we'll get to that in just a second. Let's go ahead and look at what that guy appeared to be uh, lo looking like. Yeah. I love the color scheme. Imagine seeing this guy hanging out, slightly grayed out compared to a regular spider. It's got those orange eyes of wonder and luster. I, gee whiz, man. He doesn't have the best aim, it seems. He hasn't hit me yet. But hey, it's still a problem if you happen to cross any of these cobwebs when you're not expecting them. Now, in terms of the special drop you can get from it from time to time, I guess we can go ahead and pick that puppy up. It's known as the spider gland, and you can actually use it to do something very similar to what we were just witnessing. Namely, you can right click with it to spit out spider webs, or cobwebs in this case, as well. So, a very useful tool for keeping any other nearby mobs <laughs> or people at bay. And hey guys, before we get any further into today's video, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you that has picked up a log.zip plushie. You can grab one if you haven't yet at ldz.store. The link is in the description. The support for this plushie has been overwhelming. Thank you so much to everyone that has grabbed one. People have been tweeting at me, showing their pre-order images, uh, tagging me on Instagram, doing everything. It is so cool to be able to have one of these hanging out in your house or wherever you decide to put it. Now, I did want to let you know the pre-order stage ends November 16th. And if you pre-order one before that date, you'll have a chance at getting a signed copy of this one signed by me, log.zip. So you can make sure to grab one by checking out the link in the description below. And if you don't make it for the pre-order stage, it's all good, baby. There's still going to be an opportunity to get one. It just won't have the signature on it. So act now if you want that signature. Uh, and again, thank you so much for all the support. It really does mean the world to me. Uh, this guy cannot wait to be hanging out in your arms. So grab one and thanks for watching. We'll see you. I guess right now, for the rest of the video. <laughs> Our next rare mob variant takes us underwater, where some of the nastiest creatures can be found. In this case, a drowned. But not this drowned specifically. A rare type of drowned, known as the double trident drowned. Yeet on him. Look at this nasty boy. Oh my gosh. And he legit throws, oh gosh, bad boy. He got me. <laughs> Impaled. Oh, this is just embarrassing. We're close to the bottom of the Minecraft world right now. If you look at my Y coordinate, we're down all the way at 12 bedrock spawn starting around Y equals 5. And that is where double drown tridents or <laughs> double triton drown spawn. At Y equals 15 and below, drowns that spawn in will have two tridents and they can throw them as you saw twice as fast and they look nasty no less as well. You really got to watch out for these guys because they can do a number on you. And they got a chance at dropping tridents, as you might expect. And hey, maybe even a chance at dropping two. Notice when we spawned in that drowned, it was above the Y equals 15. So it became a regular drowned. But again, spawning it just a smidge lower, and you'll get the double trident drowned. And man, he means some serious business. 
Naturally, given the Y level, they can only spawn in underwater caves and ravines such as this one right here. Now, again, let me show you the difference between what these guys look like compared to the regular drowns. They have a much darker blue color. Oh, come on! They both... Eh. See, this is what creative mode is for, guys. There's the regular drowned. The double trident drowned has a very nasty, <laughs> darker texture than the other one. And man, he's going to town even though I'm in creative. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of you, buddy. You pose a threat. They will always drop a trident when killed. Our next rare mob is the chicken chicken. Interesting. Sounds delicious. Anyways, chicken chickens will spawn one out of 100 times that a regular chicken will spawn. Well, uh, chicken chickens will spawn. <laughs> Baby chickens can never be chicken chickens, so you cannot farm them. Here's what they... Whoa. Look like. Can we... Uh... Huh. Is... Uh... Ah, I see. Chicken chickens are scared of you and will fly away. <laughs> Man, they went crazy over there. But if you wait long enough, it might lay a diamond egg. Ooh, hold on a second. Can we, can we get, I mean, how close can we get? And what happened to that chicken? Yo, did it literally die? Why is there a, <laughs> why is there a chicken carcass? There's no better way of putting it right there. Look, they literally flee from me. The saddest story. Okay, I'm gonna let them do their thing. Notice the wild chicken chickens in their natural habitat as they feast upon the cousin something. There we go. It only took about 20 years, but we got our hands on some eggs, some lavalily, and we even got some diamonds for our trouble. By the way, when you're in creative mode, the chickens will remain among us. And speaking of, we've got on an Among Us skin from our They Are Among Us skin pack, which is available in the Minecraft marketplace. Check out the link below to buy it. Next rare mob is the cow pig. Pigs that spawn near a group of four cows are very embarrassed. They realize just how much better cows are than them. Oh, Caleb, did you make this one again? Anyway, so they decide to look like cows, and they'll also drop leather. So we're going to spawn in a few different cows. One, two, three, four. Spawn in a pig nearby. Oh, gosh. And look, it's a little cow pig. What the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, well, you can say it's rare, because how often are pigs spawning in near four cows? But more importantly, how often do they end up looking like this? Goodness gracious. Embarrassing. Well, at least we got some pork chops and some leather for our trouble. This was your idea, wasn't it? Next rare mob is the Bamboozler. Check it out. It's a rare... Whoa. Um, hello? <laughs> it's a rare panda baron. I don't know if you heard him from just a second ago, but I'm having trouble seeing anything. Yo, that was insane. Where is he? Did he... He's gone! All that's left is a bamboo! Literally bamboozled. It's a ninja pa panda that spawns in bamboo forests. When you're close, they'll throw a smoke bomb. The smoke bomb blinds and slows you, and it will make the panda invisible. Yo, that is crazy. When killed, they'll drop the smoke bombs. This is what they look like. But let me go ahead and actually see what this thing looks like. Maybe we can be in creative mode? And then it won't... There. So here's the bamboos. <laughs> oh, look at him. The ultimate. He's got like a little headband. Okay, so when we're in survival mode, you'll see right away, instantly disappears and bamboozles you, leaving nothing but this bamboo behind. Oh, goodness. Now, the smoke bomb itself, though, well, and smoke bomb. Very cool. Invisible now. <laughs> if you kill more than 10 Ravagers in game, not only are you a boss, <laughs> but you will spawn in the Raging Ravager, because after 10 of them, you'll get one of those. It has a charge attack that can smash through blocks. So. Don't mind me while I load up on some netherite armor to prepare for this guy. The Raging Ravager. My goodness. Look at him. Holy moly. Nasty. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, yeah. All right. All right. I get it. 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 Look at him. He's the nastiest. Holy moly. Run away. I'm with you, kitty. <laughs> okay. Easy does it. Please do not smash any. He literally just took out a side of the... My goodness! That was cool. <laughs> he can't get me. Okay, yeah, he can definitely get me. We can just you know, take it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it. E oh. No, change his mind. Okay. Uh, no, you can go for the villagers. That's fine. I'm going to spit on you. I spit. I spit on you. I spit. Oh, gosh. Oh. It's going to be one of those days. 
Okay, pretty sure the Ravager's gone. We can show you Emerald Golems, which will spawn in villages that don't have golems, but that do have at least 20 villagers. Naturally, the influx of emeralds that are in circulation because of all those extra villagers will get you an Emerald Golem instead of an Iron Golem. Perhaps he's just a six. Oh my god, someone give him some night cool ASAP. They are stronger and faster and will drop emeralds. Whoa, yeah, a lot faster. Holy moly. Look at that. Well, this one already had a goal, but you know, obviously we're just showing something. We just... Holy gosh! It's a good thing we got netherite on because otherwise this would have been a bad. You know, I'm gonna go to get creative mode. Oh, come on! This is what creative mode's for. So I'm gonna go ahead and just smash you to bits and pieces because you're not gonna kill me again. And the moment this emerald golem dies, we will be rewarded with our <laughs> misdeeds, I suppose. Killing an innocent golem. Give me the... Oh, okay, I was like, if you didn't drop emeralds that time, I would have lost it. So we got seven emeralds for that. That's a pretty sweet deal. Here, there's a way you can farm these guys by having enough villagers in your village. How about a change of scenery, though? Here we are in the nether to discuss another rare mob variant. The Withering Skeleton Snipers. Sometimes regular skeletons spawn in in nether fortresses. Now, sometimes they'll get withering bows of doom. You check it out. Well, okay, I think that one did not. Okay, that, okay, there we go. Oh, gosh. Nasty. Are you gonna start fighting, I wonder? Yo, 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 the best. Okay, so now we've got to deal with a wither skeleton, essentially, that has a bow. Oh, gosh, I don't want to mess with this. Can we just stop? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, good. Oh, goodness. Am I gonna die? I'm gonna die. I hate all my, all of my hate. Stop it. How much wither do I have? Please. Oh, that's close. Now, skeletons also spawn in in soul sand valleys in the nether, but these guys will only spawn in in nether fortresses, and only occasionally. So, just remember that when you're trying to find one of these nasties. Look at him. Goodness gracious, you are such a problem. Our next rare mob variant is Blazing Ghasts. These can spawn in fire only. The ones that do will become those Blazing Ghasts. They'll shoot three fireballs at a time like the blaze. But they'll drop something quite special. Blazing fireballs, which we'll cover in just a second. For now, though, let's spawn in one of these guys, huh? Look at you. Holy moly. This guy is insane looking. <laughs> wow. Are you gonna... Oh, okay, he sees me now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no kidding. Literally dropped three of them. Or shot three of them, I suppose. Uh, man, those could be very nasty to run into. Ooh, could you imagine? Could you imagine? Oh, wow. One of them, he hit himself with it. <laughs> Worst. Blazing Fireball is a throwable fireball that you can actually collect from these guys. So you can shoot these things out wherever you so please. Awesome. Wow, you can even use them as a little bit of a rocket jump, too. That's pretty cool. And let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see some sort of maybe survival let's play where we're adding in these mobs and other mobs to it. Maybe the fire cubes is one you'd like to see. These are rare magma cubes that will spawn in fire and become fire cubes. They leave a fire trail wherever they go. So we'll go ahead and spawn in one of these guys. And here is the fire cube in question. Look at him. Wow, kind of adorable. Actually kind of love how he looks. Man, but he has a bone to pick with me. Look at this. Wherever he lands, there's some fire. And he can set you on fire if you're not careful. So we'll go ahead and just take it easy. Oh gosh, and then it spawns in little baby ones. Now, it appears as though the baby ones don't have fire trails behind them, which is really a nice relief. But when you think about it, the more fire cubes there are around, the better chance you have of other fire cubes appearing because there's just well, fire all over the place. And if you've got netherrack nearby, that fire is never, ever going to go out. So <laughs> keep that one in mind when you have some of these. Like, look, I think another one just spawned in. Easy, guys. Come on. You're ruining the showcase area. <laughs> Giant phantoms. That's what's up next. Giant phantoms will begin spawning in after five days of not sleeping. We're going to set the time to midnight. And then we're going to set, not the time today, <laughs> but we're going to spawn in one of these big phantoms. You can see what they look like. Look at this. Holy big. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Insane looking. He's got a really cool color scheme on him as well, if you didn't see that. But he's a big old boy. And he did some pretty decent damage considering I'm wearing full netherite. Oh my gosh. Well, the only good thing about him, I guess, is he's pretty easy to hit given his size. So, if you happen across one of these in your world, well, you won't have any trouble 
hitting on him. <laughs> not like that. I mean, uh, he seems like a pleasant enough creature, but I'm not trying to take him on a date. Okay, die, yeah. And as normal, he'll drop phantom membranes. I spit on you. <laughs> 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 Get it! Is it slowing him down? It is! It's slowing him down! <laughs> oh, awesome. Not mad. Not mad about it. Look at that! Wow, the ultimate spider gland move. Oh, sick. Literally, I'm, I'm spitting on things. How about a crystal dragon? Just to spice things up. The crystal dragon spawns when respawning the ender dragon. It only shows up after the second respawning, but the end crystals during the fight will respawn after two minutes. You'll need to keep destroying them during the fight. Probably go into creative mode for this. Yeah, you think? Okay, so let's spawn in this crystal dragon. Go ahead, place the crystals down. This is how you respawn in Ender Dragons, by the way. If you didn't know, the crystals will slowly, you know, replenish themselves. Right, 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 right. I read you. Yes, slowly but surely, all coming back together. We're gonna fast forward this part. Until you're left with something quite magnificent. Where does he, where does he spawn in? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, gosh. Nice, the ultimate crystal dragon. Now, you'll know that the crystal dragon is active because you'll see a whole bunch of particles coming off of both the ender dragon and off of yourself. Even though it does look the same as the ender dragon, you can clearly tell that there's a difference here. And you'll need to slowly but surely take out the crystals during this fight, as every so often, they will in fact end up respawning. Uh, I'm going to save you the trouble. The next rare mob is the city enderman. City enderman spawned and cities, right? That makes no sense. <laughs> They'll use shulker armor and have more health on them. So, let's go ahead and spawn one of these guys in. Boom. 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 Spawn in. I want an Enderman in my city. Enderman City Enderman. Really? Y'all gonna play me like this? Get! I want a real one! Oh, there we go. Hey! Look at you! Hanging out with your friends. A nice pink wonder compared to all of the others. Okay. So, this guy apparently has way more armor. Yo, he literally blends in so well compared to the rest of these. Let's go ahead and fight one of them. Hey, stupid. Oh, he didn't like that. Hey, yo. Oh, hey, hey, hey. oh, okay. So he's, yeah, he's a little bit stronger. He's got a little bit more health on him. Like smacking around. Yo, he's got a lot more health on him. Now, this time he didn't drop anything, but let's see if we can coerce him this time around. Oh, gosh. Now I got a couple of them. Come on. Really gonna play like that? You know what? We're gonna. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna go into creative. Quick! Get! Oh, oh, come on! Oh, I spawned right here. <laughs> there we go. Trust me, he did drop it, okay? I swear. <laughs> we got a Shulko shell. The final rare mob is the Mighty Might. It's a rare Endermite variant. They'll spawn in rarely when an Endermite spawns in. Makes enough sense. They are very fast and strong and deadly. And these particles are kind of getting my nerves. <laughs> so let's spawn in the Mighty Might. Whoa, red. Yo, cool looking. Yo, wow, he is fast. Look at him. Goes nuts on me. Can we just... Yeah, well, I, I'm pretty sure he's still weak, so that's a good thing. No, bad. Stop. Well, he's got some pretty decent health on him, to be honest. Yeah. Good luck if one of these things spawns in when you happen to just... If you kill me right now... Oh! Stop! Wow! <laughs> that is embarrassing, actually. Okay, easy, 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 easy. Thank goodness. Guys, let us know in the comments below what other rare mob variants you'd like to see. And if you want to see even more mob variants, check out this video right here where we created 50 new mob variants of all sorts of different types of Minecraft mobs.